and Bunani Jumelang. Absheni, hello everybody. Today I'm talking about celebrities that followed in their parents' footsteps. They are carrying on the legacy their parents have created in the industry. For these celebrities, fame runs in the family. Without mumbling too much, let's get into the nitty gritty. Firstly, I have Tutuzani Zuma, who is the son of our former president Jacob Zuma. He served as a president from 2009 to 2018, famously known as Msholozi. Although he left presidency in a very sour taste because it was alleged that Zuma had improperly benefited from state expenditure due to the upgrades made at Nkandla. Well, it's a lot and I don't want to dwell in all of that. His son, Tutuzane Zuma, is a director of a number of South African businesses. He also once mentioned that he plans to run for presidency, claiming he wants to do something different. Imagine different level Zuma. After all the controversies, Maratlaring, he wants to be like his father. After all, like father, like son. Next, we have Charlotte Desikabi, who is a presenter and a model and also an actress. Her father is a playwright and director. Although he is not in the spotlight, but his name is well known in the entertainment industry. Charlotte is famously known for the role she portrays on House of Zwede as Shoki. Well, the Sikabis have created a name for themselves. Next, I have Oami Mafukati, who is the daughter of the controversial Ata Mafukati. One thing about Ata Mafukati is that he has opened a lot of doors for a lot of artists like Chomi, Sisi and others. He had a hit song called Shogoloza, which till today is still the gem. He even won Song of the Year in 1998 for his song Oi Oi. While a lot of us were young, some were not even born, he was also awarded with a Lifetime Achievement Award for his 22-year-old successful entertainment industry career in 2016. Well, his daughter Owami seems to be feeling these pictures because she's also making moves, although she isn't making much headline, but she's young and heading in the right direction career-wise. She's a DJ and is famously known for her fire set. Her mother is a musician. Her name is Queen. Those who know know her. Her older brother, AJ, is the one who taught her how to mix or DJ. She has joined our Mzanti female DJs. This shows that women are making boss moves and we are happy for them. Next, I have Ufense Primo Valoi, who is the son of the talented Lucas Khatebe. He played for Keza Chief from 1989 to 1994, and he was a captain. He then played for Leeds United in 1994 to 2005. Nelson Mandela even said, this is my hero, referring to Lucas Khatebe. In 2000, he was awarded the FIFA Fair Play Award. Unlike his father, Ufense tried to play for Pete Best and Block black aces but his career was not heading the heights of his dad soccer for infants he was inspired by his father he said i looked up to my father and playing soccer professionally made sense to me but it was not his passion and well he found his passion which is tiktok he has built a name for himself in the entertainment industry Brands even recognize his talent. He is to make YouTube skits on YouTube also. He has a huge following on TikTok and he even landed a role on One Magic's Linga Show in Season 2. Next, I have Esona Mapumulu, who is Black Coffee's older son. Black Coffee is a DJ, record producer and songwriter. He has a record label called Solistic Music. His seventh studio album, Subconsciously. His album won the award for Best Dance at the 64th Annual Grammy Awards. Not only is Black Coffee a South African DJ, but he's an international DJ and his name is very big in the state. While his son Mapu Mulwa is following in the footsteps of his father, although Esona isn't making much headline, but his career is making all the necessary noise needed. He's also a DJ like his father. He's also a music director, producer, and he's also a director of his father's companies, which is the Solistic, Solistic Agency and Black Coffee Foundation. Esona also made headlines when he was created as a producer and co-writer of Drake's hit song, Takes Go Green, where Esona is going places. The world is his. The Mapumlos are all about the bag, more ching ching, less yada yada. 
Next, I have multi-talented Pila Malingozi, who is the son of the legendary Ringo Malingozi. Ringo is a singer, record producer, and a member of the National Assembly of South Africa. He has won multiple of awards, and the most prominent award is the best male artist in Southern Africa. He has collaborated with international group UP40. And April doesn't fall far from the tree because his son, Pila Malingozi, is also a musician. He was also part of South African adults and he made it to top 16, but unfortunately, God had other plans. He has acted on numerous shows like Intersection Season 2 as Zolile, which opened many acting roles for him. He was also on Rhythm City, the Queen single guest, to name a few. Next, I have Lerato Macheta, who is the son of the legendary Jeremy Fuking Macheta. He's an actor. He has appeared in films like Toti, Mr. Bone, Safe House, and Mama Jake, to name a few. He also appears in Scandal. His son, Lerato Macheta, has followed in the footsteps of his father. He's also an actor. He's famously known for his role as Ndandu Sbeko from Istimo, and is also a YouTuber and singer. Next, I have the talented Tapelo Sibukhodi, who is the son of the talented Sibutla Sibukhodi. Sibutla Sibukhodi is a recipient of the of two SAFTA Award. He's an actor and most people till this day know him as Kenneth Mashaba from Generation. He has appeared on shows like Bupilo Kissing Peru as Nguishing. If you are not familiar with the show, then you have not lived. He also appeared on Rhythm City, The River as Suhumi, and Woman King to name a few. World talent runs in the family because his son, famously known as Kabzilla on the river, is very talented without a doubt. He has appeared on Outland, Strike Back, and Pusha Panda to name a few. Well, one thing about Tabelo, he has created a name for himself in the entertainment industry. He also had a privilege to work with his father on the river. Next, I have Moshe Khausani, better known as Moti. He was part of a music band known as Mikasa. He learned how to play the trumpet from his father, Banza Khausani. Mr. Banza was a leading trumpeter for the legendary group Mango Groove, while Moti, Moti's grandfather was a musician also and a saxophone player. Mr. Panza and his father are the founders of the Alexandra Plus Bands. Well, the Haswani name is big within the instrumentalists. Next, I have Mavs Maponyani, who is the son of former soccer player Max Maponyani. Max Maponyani started his soccer career at the tender age of 19, playing for Keza Chiefs. Then he played for Orlando Parents and West University. The only player who has won footballer of the of the year three times. He is Kaiser Chiefs all-time goal scorer with 85 goals. Imagine he is a soccer analyst currently. While his handsome son is doing the most with his physical appearance. Talk about beauty privileges in men. His son tried to play soccer, but he was not successful. He's a model actor. He even had a show on Zanti Magic whereby he was a host well if you have the looks and they work for you why not now coach of mami lori sandan he has been a coach for 15 years and he is a former school teacher by profession wow he has coached golden arrows for three years amazulu for a year mami lori sandans for nine years he started as an assistant though it's Mamilori Sundowns. His daughter Asavela is a brilliant actress. She played the role of Ndwendle on Isibaya and that role showcased her talent as an actress. She had her second television role as Amukhelang on Abu Mama and she killed it too. She has proven that yes, she is beautiful but she is talented. Next, I have Devin Koko, whose real name is Mandisa Khatebe. She's the daughter of the former Minister of Energy, Jeff Khatebe. Before, Jeff Khatebe was the Minister of Justice and Constitutional Development from 2019 to 2014. 2009 to 2014, I'm sorry. Before he became Minister of Energy, well, you know it, our beloved DJ is from an influential family, but we can't deny the fact that she is one of the most talented South African female DJs in Zanzi. Her hit single Kuza Gogo made her famous. It was even certified platinum in South Africa. She even won DJ of the year in 2022. 
Halala Girl and she has been nominated multiple times while she's a beast in the decks. Lastly, I have the queen of Amapiano Kamumpila. Her father worked on YFM. His name is Onitias or Onitiaf Mpila. Even Meji knows Kamumpila's dad and he is very influential in the music industry also. Kamumpila, as we know, is the queen of Amapiano. She has hit songs that we still jam to tell today. And she's the Beyonce of South Africa. Thanks for watching so this far. Hope you've liked what you've heard. And please do not forget to subscribe, like, comment. See you next time. Bye.